up YouTube? Listen, I was watching this video that someone has sent to me regarding Michael Jackson's video, Beat It, and the real meaning behind the video and the song. Also on this video, or this, this link that was sent to me, it had Rihanna's song, Umbrella. And Rihanna has another song now, Good Girls Gone Wild, uh, Dark Demon, and the real meaning behind that. It appears that there are a lot of celebrities, quite a few celebrities, that have made packs with the dark side for fame and fortune. Um, among that, I'd say is Pink. She made a song, I Kissed the Girl and I Liked It. And now she has a song which you really can't understand the lyrics. And the only thing that really stands out is where she says, I'm going to start a fight. Nah, 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 I'm going to start a fight. And you have to realize that whenever something is con continuously repeated over and over again, I'm going to start a fight, I'm going to start a fight, I'm going to start a fight, that actually takes root in your subconscious mind. So now you have young people and even adults acting out and not knowing why. Okay, why did you go over and hit that man? Why did you hit that girl? I don't know. I don't know. Something just told me, you know, just something was controlling me. I couldn't help myself. So we have to really be careful to what we allow our conscious and subconscious mind to, um, to feed upon because you have a lot of subliminal music that's out there. The beat sounds nice. The lyrics may sound like it's speaking about one thing, but in reality, it's speaking about something else. So I'm going to put this link up there, and I want you guys to check it out. And um, we have to really be careful, because even now Beyonce is talking about, you know, um, one of her internal demons, which she named Sasha. Sasha Fierce. And now she's got a an album out now, this title, I Am Sasha Fierce. And there was an interview that she did one time and she was upset because during her concert she happened to throw an expensive bracelet out in the audience. But she was upset because she felt Sasha did it. Sasha threw her bracelet out there. And now she's competing against Sasha. Sasha seemed to be selling a lot of albums, a lot of music. Um, when she get up on stage she's a totally different person. Those are spirits. Those are demons. So let's be careful to what we feed our mind because whatever we take inside ourselves. And another thing I've noticed too is quite a bit of unbelief among people. Things that people used to believe in, now they're, they, they would shun it. The Bible, you have so many people now coming against the Bible. Why do you think that book out of all religions are attacked the most? The Bible and Christianity. I can understand Christianity. But when it comes to the Bible and the Torah, um, and even religion itself is just being attacked and people are accepting things that are a lot worse, a lot damaging than Christianity or even the Bible. You know, so we have to really guard ourselves to what we come against. And this people even saying that hell don't exist. Demons don't exist. You know, oh, we in hell right down here on earth, they say. Or we have our own, you know, personal demons within ourselves. You know, but... One of the greatest tricks that the, that the devil did or, or Shaitan did was to convince the world that he didn't exist. So there's a lot of people now that are starting to believe that he don't exist. And we need to really wake up. Don't allow ourselves to fall asleep on him. Because the minute we fall asleep, that's when he strikes. Just like a cobra. A cobra will sit there and he'll, he'll show his beauty and wave in front of you. And before you, when you become hypnotized and, and, and your attention is now um, warped, he strikes and he attacks you. He hits you so fast you don't even know you're hit. So let's just be careful. Check out that link I'm going to put up there. Until next time, peace.